Then it's Thursday, November 6th. Taylor Swift album sold more copies than next 107 top albums combined. I'm Taylor Becker. And I'm Caleb Harper. If you feed the homeless in Fort Lauderdale, you may find yourself in jail. Your CSN News starts now. Music may not be on Spotify anymore, but Taylor Swift is, making, is still popular and making big money. Her album 1989 is number one on the Billboard 200 Albums chart, creating the largest music sales of the week in over 12 years. 1989 sold 1.28 million copies this week and ending November 2nd, according to Nielsen SoundScan. That is the largest sales week for any album since 2002 and is immediately the second biggest selling album of the year following the Frozen soundtrack. The debut is so huge it comprised 22% of the entire album for the market of that week. Another way to look at it, of the top selling albums of the Billboard 200 chart for the week, 1989 sold more than number two through number 107 combined. In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, it's a crime to feed the homeless. For the last two decades, 90-year-old Chef Arnold has proudly fired up his ovens to serve up four-course meals for, the, for in the balmy city. A new ordinance restricting public feedings of the homeless has pitted the chef against some of those who say the growing homeless population has overrun local parks. Chef Arnold and two South Florida ministers were arrested last weekend as they served food. They are charged with breaking an ordinance restricting public feeding of the homeless. They now face 60 days in jail and a $500 fine, but that won't stop them from helping. In fact, on Wednesday evening, they went back out for a feeding along Fort Lauderdale's beach as police videotaped them serving up fresh cooked entrees for the needy. The first fossil of an amphibious dinosaur has been discovered in China by a team led by researchers at the University of California, Davis. The, fo the fossil is described in a paper published in the journal Nature. The fossil represents a missing stage in the evolution of marine reptiles from the age of the dinosaurs about 250 million years ago. Until now, there are no fossils marking the transition from land to sea and is about 250 million years old, measuring roughly 1.5 feet long. Unlike this animal, unlike others, this animal had unusually large flexible flippers that likely allowed for sea-like movement on land. It had flexible wrists, which are essential for crawling on the ground. Most ichthyosaurs have long beak-like snouts, but the amphibious fossil shows a nose as short as that of uh, land reptiles. We'll be right back. If you're looking for information for financial aid or college, join us on Thursday 20th from 6 to 7 p.m. in the CHS library. Both parents and students are invited to attend to learn about types of financial aid, who gets financial aid, and how to apply for financial aid. Also, there will be a Spanish presentation for the non-English speakers. Financial aid reps from CWI and NNU will be there to answer your questions. This could be your first step to your college career. See you there. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 67 with a low of 48. Tomorrow's high is 61 to low of 42. The at-risk attendance sheets have been posted in the foyer. Please take a look. If your student ID number is, the one, is on one of the sheets, you need to talk to your grade level attendance dean about appealing for credit. Freshman, that's Mr. Netto. Sophomore, find Ms. Perlman. Juniors, Ms. Keister. And seniors, Mr. Ewing. There will be a brief football meeting this Friday after school. All students have finished the football season, please attend. The football banquet is Tuesday, November 11th at 6 p.m. in the Commons. The first annual Winter Cat Blast will be hosted by the Wildcat Boosters on November 15th from 5 to 7 p.m. Come join the introductions of the winter teams and clubs. There will be food, fundraiser games, and lots of fun. Seniors want to take the SAT, SAT or ACT. If you plan to take the December SAT, you must register online by this Thursday. If you want to take the December ACT, you must register online by this Friday. Don't miss these important deadlines. Attention students and staff. Veterans Day is coming soon, and the Columbia ASB will continue to honor those who have served by hosting the 7th Annual Veterans Day Luncheon. This year's event will take place next Wednesday in the library and will run from 11 to 12.30. As always, Olive Garden will be catering and will also feature an array of great desserts. Sign up for this tribute to those in uniform in the main office today. Trying out for boys basketball? Charts are going to be held November 14th from 3 to 6 and November 15th from 8 to 10 a.m. Be sure to get your paperwork in. You can bring it to the last open gym next Thursday from 7 to 9 p.m. or turn it into the Coach Young by Wednesday, November 12th. Also, ref wrestlers, don't forget to turn your weight certs today at 3 in the locker room. The Nampa FFA Scholarship Auction is November 7th in the Ag Shop. Dinner and silent auction at 5.30 p.m. Live auctions at 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 at the door. Today's SAT word of the day is Maverick. 
a verb that means an unbranded ranch animal or a person who takes an independent stand. You could use it this way. Peter had a different business vision than his coworkers and so something of a maverick, started his own company. That's your news. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Wildcat Wire.